In Philippians, the Apostle Paul shares the power of affirmative faith. In Philippians 4, he gives us some guidance for spiritual formation. He says, God is near in our lives. He says that we can draw near to God by praying about every occasion, about giving thanks, about helping one another and being gentle in spirit. Paul invites us to have the mind of Christ, the mind of affirmations. He tells us to think on these things. In a world of negativity, Paul tells us to think creatively, not to deny the negativity, but live by our affirmations, to put the negatives of life in the context of God's wider possibilities. Think about what's noble. Think about what's true. Think about God's power in your life. Expect great things from God and expect great things from yourself. Philippians is a love note to a beloved congregation. And as a pastor of a beloved congregation, I know what Paul's talking about. And I hope that I can leave my congregation this year with a sense of a positive future, with a sense that they can pray about everything and give thanks about everything and live affirmatively. And of course, Paul ends the fourth chapter of Philippians and the book of Philippians with two wonderful affirmations. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do everything I need to succeed and prosper and serve God through Christ who strengthens me. And Paul also says, my God will supply all your needs. That every congregation has what it needs to serve God. That every person is given the gifts, the possibilities, the energy to be faithful to God in this time and place. Even if we can only do a little, we can still be faithful to God. Dorothy Day, it is said, suffered from severe illness in her final years of life, and she could no longer, she could no longer picket, she could no longer get arrested, she could no longer protest, she could no longer travel and give speeches. She did say, I can still pray. And as Walter Wink says, the future belongs to those who pray, those who intercede for justice. So the Apostle Paul gives us in the fourth chapter of Philippians spiritual guidance for how to live a good life, a life of gratitude, creativity, connection, prayer, and affirmative faith. God wants you to have every need fulfilled. God is promising you that you, he will give you, that God will give you, that she will give you more than you can ask or imagine. If you want to know more about Philippians, take a look at my study. It's a great study for congregations. Philippians, a participatory study guide. Go in peace. God is with you. Nothing can separate you from the love of God.